What's up guys? Apparently today it is uh, the woman march, the second year or something like that, or um, the anniversary. They're having it right now. I recently acquired a Olympus stylus and I got a battery in it and it actually works, but apparently I don't have any film on me. So I guess um, one little tip is always carry a film camera, but also carry around some film just in case something like this pops up. I didn't know it was um, happening today. So, I, mean, I thought it'd be cool to get some shots, but I don't have any film. And speaking about shots, I just picked up uh, my roll of sign still from the lab, and I don't know if you can see it, but somehow it, it looks pretty white and blank. So I'm hoping that's not the case. So I'm gonna check these out in a second, and I hope maybe I got some images on here. I don't know what happened or why they're blank. Can't remember opening camera. I don't know why I would leak or something. But hopefully I got a few shots in this and I'll let you guys know. While I was at work, I got to check out the pictures and looks like they are a go. So I get to show them with you guys and um, I think I actually caught one meteor or a uh, shooting star, if you will. Um, I'm not really expert, so if you know or if you dig it, let me know and leave a thumbs up and comment down below. Let's roll. <laughs> what did you just say? Hey guys, it's Nick with another video. That's right, we're back with another video, and this time we're gonna be shooting astral photography with film 35 millimeter. And it's with the uh, Geminid um, meteor shower. It happens once a year, and somehow they say this one's like really spectacular. And we are in a pretty good place where it's supposed to be like not much light pollution. Looks like it's like there's some people over there, but it's like so dark you can't even see the people. Yep. So that's good. And typically you have to be out there for at least 20 minutes and let your eyes adjust. In case you didn't know. And we're gonna be shooting with a Canon 81 with a shutter released button on the B mode, which I didn't know, but that is bulb mode, which lets you do long exposures. All right, so it's not much light right here, but this is the uh, the setup right here. We got a flimsy, it actually goes on right here. Oh, that's different. In comparison to your Minolta, the other one goes like on the side, right? Yeah. And so it's on B mode right now. And so basically, I'm gonna be holding it up here and I'm gonna go, so I just hit it, and if I want to do 20 seconds, however long seconds, I can go, and then I go, and then just shut it. Needle pushing down on a button down there. Yeah, and then next shot. And then, so if I go, and let's say my arm is tired, right? Well, there's a um, thing right here where if you tighten it just right, now I'm not holding it, but because the way this thing's set up, it's still holding the needle down so it's going it's clicking it's clicking okay looking by my stopwatch i think it's ready to be done so i just undo this right here and then boom <laughs> that's the cheat sheet i found while i was waiting but yeah we are ready now you know another cheat sheet that i found i brought snacks yeah you know because uh light show and snacks just so you know, I'm not sharing with you. So, yeah. Ooh, Comment like. down below what your favorite snack is. Mine is um these things, Chester's flaming Hot Fries. I love these things. Okay, here you go. Speaking of fire, one thing you're not gonna have is warmth out here. So, one thing you should have is like a whole bunch of layers. Like this Dreamville hoodie, let's go. J. Cole, J. Cole, he went platinum with no features. Okay, what's up? Then also this cable release is a must then a sturdy tripod is a must and then probably like a notepad so you can write down some notes of the shots then also a stopwatch so you can count the numbers of time it's going by and, and also patience and some lawn chairs but we didn't bring them because someone wasn't totally prepared yeah so let's get to it yeah 
So we've been out here, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or something. But um, as you can see, my face is lit. We're in the parking lot. It's just way too much lights. And it was over there. I feel like way too much light pollution. So we better try to go to a better location. Took a few shots just to try it out. 20 seconds, no, 30 seconds and 20 seconds. There, the guy with the uh telescope is like oh I don't know why they picked this location because it's really bad so he's like I'm just here to show you other people like different things so I'm like well if he said it's bad it's definitely bad. what was he showing uh, nebulous or yeah a nebula I forgot which one but yeah I mean I saw it and it was cool but it's not what I came here for so yeah. we're gonna go to the next location okay see you there What's up guys? Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was my uh, first attempt at shooting astrophotography and I was shooting a meteor shower. A meteor is when it cuts through the atmosphere and it causes like a light streak, also known as shooting stars. A meteoroid is a piece of ice or rock that's moving through the atmosphere. A meteorite is when it falls like to the ground and hits earth. That's a quick little demonstration all three of those mean and I was shooting a meter or shower which is also known as the geminid shower that usually happens during uh, mid-december this one took place december 13th of last year so i really want to try out um some film so i went out to a probably what i thought was just a closed area and the local astronomy club said this park was like pretty good but the only problem was there's just so many lights. It's right next to the city downtown. And so it really looked like there's a lot of light pollution, either that or it was also like really cloudy that night. So that's why we ended up leaving. And the place that I went to, it was still pretty cloudy. So I didn't actually start shooting till like two hours later. And then once I started shooting, uh, shooting, it was like really cold, frigid. I'm holding my hand down and then there was like at least one click that held it down for like five minutes. I would have kept going more just to try it out, but I only could do it for like five minutes because my hands were getting super cold. Other than that, that was the longest exposure that I had. And the other one's usually like uh, 15, 30 seconds, somewhere around there. And I'm actually surprised I got at least one or two meteors like on film because um, they're like two seconds psh, I'm gone so you had been already holding it down before because otherwise they're just so quick to capture at least this one I've heard other showers are like psh, 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 but this one's just like psh. and then you just wait and then oh there's another one <laughs> so yeah my setup was uh, with sign still BWXX and it was kind of hard to get a consensus online um, film versus digital. I know digital usually bump the ISO way up, but um, at least for this one, I heard the lowest ISO that's suitable is 400, so that's what I kept it at. I bumped the Sinso BWXX to 400 ISO, and I had my Bopo that was just shooting. And also, the reason why this is shot in December and I'm just now doing this because the developing took so long. The guy didn't quite really know how the processing works, but um, like I said in the last video, the Science WW XX can be run by regular black and white developing, and there's nothing too special here. So tell you film labs they have nothing to worry, and also be sure to shut them. Um, also be sure to send 
your local film labs if you want like a link to the science still page and they can help you with uh, developing times or if you want to try it yourself feel free I'll have that in the description down below so hopefully it'll help you out as well so yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed that and if you are by chance a star expert or recognize any constellations or nebulas or star clusters inside my pictures drop some knowledge down below so I can be enlightened because I just know I caught at least one shooting star to my knowledge and I'm pretty stoked about that so hopefully I can try this out more in the future and maybe even try it out with some uh, color film as well <laughs> but yeah Leave a comment down below, be sure to subscribe for some more stuff, and thanks for watching.